zijn we weer terug in Den Haag bij het theater aan het Spij. Met de, waar het festival The Border Sessions plaatsvindt. Niet de Crossing Border Sessions, maar The Border Sessions. En uh, een nieuwe gast zit aan de tafel. Please introduce yourself. I'm uh, Peter Sander Kolmesopi. I'm one of the founders of Pirate Pay and a lot of other weird stuff. Okay, and when yeah. you meet people at a party, uh, well, you don't know. What, what is it you tell them you do? Uh, I would tell them I do nothing. Nothing? Yeah, it's always because then people get kind of like, what's wrong with you? Uh, I like that better than... Because if you, if you minimize yourself into like what you do, you're not a human anymore. I don't want to be a robot. I'd rather do nothing than to be a robot. Okay. Yeah. And, and what do people ask you when you, when you tell them you do nothing? Uh, they ask you, how can you make a living from that? Yeah. And I said, that, yeah, apparently I'm alive, so somehow it works out. I'm a little bit of a troll, but yeah, that's what I do. So you don't really want to explain a lot about your work or... Uh... Well, I, I do that all the time. But yeah. I, if I meet people and have like human relations, like you talk to another person, I would rather talk about human stuff than talk about work stuff. Because yeah. I think a lot of the things we do in life is that we, we become our work. And yeah. uh, it starts out like, I've done this multiple times. I started out with computers as a hobby. And then I started working with computers. Then I started doing music as a hobby. Then I started working with music. And then I realized like I'm working more with music than I'm working with, uh, with computers. And I have no hobby. So instead of having that situation, I decided that music's gonna be a hobby. I'm gonna work with computers because music's make me happier. So I decided <laughs> I'm gonna be more than just work. Hmm. And I, I don't and wanna you, focus on that. And you wouldn't like work where you, which doesn't feel as work. Well, that's the, the biggest lie in the history of the world and, and mankind. <laughs> it will always feel as work. Well, the thing is, like, we're so privileged that we can work with kind of the, uh, the things we love. And uh, we spend the times with all of our friends at work. It's an amazing situation, which means you never leave work. You're never not at work. Which means you have no free time. You don't have any hobbies. You don't have anything like that. You just, you are your work. It consumes you. I'd rather work um, smaller time with stuff I don't like. Mm -hmm. And then have a really fulfilled free time instead of this, this mixture, which makes you always a little bit stressed, always a little bit focused on this one thing. You get very, very single minded and on one single track. Yeah. I don't think that's good for humanity. Like, we need to be diverse and we need to have, you're sure you have, should have some sort of income from something, but it should also be, you should have like the, the, the possibility of, of disconnecting from that and be something else. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's not something you just want for yourself. You think everyone should be or do this. We all this. deserve it. Yes. Yeah. 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 And do you think it's it's plausible? Do you think uh, it's possible? Well, it's it's not. Um, well, it, you actually just do it, and then it is possible. <laughs> okay. But the problem is that society as a whole, it's not that it's um, it's not forced upon you. Uh -huh. You select it yourself, uh, which is even worse because uh, we. I talk a lot about surveillance, and with surveillance you have something called self-censorship. Like, you know that you're being surveillance, so you start not saying the things you want to say, because it might have a uh, repercussion later. Mm -hmm. But we're doing the opposite when it comes to work. Like, we are so eager to do our job well, and to fit into so the society's standards about that you have to be an entrepreneur, you have to be like, uh, fulfill your life with your goals, and everything is about like, work goals. And if you don't want to do like, life things, then you're like a slacker, and that's bad. Mm -hmm. So everyone has this like, you focus yourself and your own energy into becoming some sort of work drone. Uh, so it's just stop doing that and like have a better life, even though society frowns upon that for some reason. Yeah. So is this a, is the subject you, you, you are here to talk about? Or do I don't you know why I'm here. Uh, <laughs> no, not here, but when you, you are one of the speakers here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why so, they invited me, but that's, uh, that's typical me. <laughs> And do you have a, a story prepared? Or? I have many stories, okay. but I, I never prepare. That's the thing. <laughs> no, but that's kind of. The, so, I think, have you been on stage already? Or yes. Uh, yes. And what, what have you to told we, there? We had a tribunal because we're in Hague, right? So yeah. you have yeah. tribunals in this yeah. city. Yeah. Uh, so we decided we we're going to have our own tribunal about uh, Edward Snowden. So we talked about uh, if he is ethically um, uh, right or wrong in what he did. And we came to a conclusion. We uh, had a tribunal with uh, his peers on stage that were uh, jury, jury members, uh -huh. came to a conclusion, made a judgment that he is a really decent guy and uh, we're gonna stamp it so he has an official document. So if he wants to cross a border somewhere, he can show this paper saying I'm a free person, you know? Maybe don't accept the jurisdiction of our tribunal, but at least there's a judgment. You tried. <laughs> we tried, we yeah. did our best. Yeah, well, border sessions is, uh, uh, is about the way um, technology uh, well shapes our future. Yeah. Um, 
how do you feel uh, um, well technology is shaping our future I think the um, that idea is kind of um, a made-up statement because you're looking at one step like technology and then what can we use technology for you're not looking at who makes technology because we make the technology so we decide what kind of future we want by making the technology that shapes the future uh -huh. so i'm i'm one of not one of these people that believe in like uh, technology is good or bad i believe in people are good or bad and different people will do technology based on what they want to achieve in life um I've seen a lot of people interested in things like Bitcoin, like distributed money, e-money e and so on. Most of them don't want to pay taxes. And a lot of them just want to have like a, a freer society and not be controlled. But, and their goals are aligned. That's why they make that technology. But uh, they don't reflect much upon other things happening in society. The same goes with Facebook. If they just want to make technology uh, for making people connect, but they don't see or they don't want to think about the other outcome of that by being centralized and being uh, self-censoring yourself by um, all of these things like the oil of your things are stored for the future you don't know what's happening in the future and so on I always want to look behind that like why is this right why is this wrong so uh, that's kind of I don't like the statement of technology changing. I, I want to I wanna have responsibility there. Uh -huh. you know? Technology yeah. can never be responsible, yeah. but the people creating it. Yeah. So you feel people don't take enough responsibility? Of course not. They don't. No. Um, and that's a typical problem we have in society. That I'm talking quite a lot about the globalized world, where you cherry pick the best things in different jurisdictions. So like um, Apple decided like all of this stuff in Europe, we're going to do that in Ireland because of tax reasons. Yeah. We have a lot of companies in Holland as well. Exactly, uh, for the same reason. Yeah. Well, they're yeah. on islands you once upon a time took, which is also interesting. It's <laughs> yeah. a different concept. But uh, the thing is, like, we have all of these things with globalization, which makes it possible to do this here and this there. Uh, but no one gets uh, responsibility anywhere. Like, that's the one thing you don't get with globalization. There's no global responsibility. It's not that Apple has to, uh, you know, they can just minimize harm for themselves. Mm -hmm. Not, and, and you can't put any sort of blame on them for, for that or responsibility. So I think that uh, one of the things I really want to discuss is like responsibility and and, um, and so for society because of globalization, because of technology and, and, and the internet and, and the possibilities arising from that. Um, so that's one of the ideas with the tribunal is to have ethical discussions instead of having discussions about law and jurisdiction. Rather talk about is it right or wrong and then start uh, contemplating what should we do with society in order to get to a point where we have a fair society because it's not going that way no no so you're not optimistic about the future i'm realistic and i know all pessimists say that they're realists but i'm actually i'm, I'm optimistic in the way that we will fuck up so much soon that we will have some sort of uh, big change it's inevitable right so if you see if what happened in greece they're still trying to minimize harm instead of like maximizing in order to get to a point where there's no return iceland totally fucked up like they had no economy left, they totally went bankrupt, and then all of a sudden they now have a thriving ideological uh, and philosophical discussion. They have a new uh, way of looking at finances. They they're happier than they've been in ages because yeah. they actually managed to get to like a to like a, they crossed the border where it's like you can't go back, and you're not in a like like they kind of quit the, the problems they had by being a small country with financial debt. Like no, we're going to be something else. We're going to be a small country with the next step and I think that's the way we're heading um, and Iceland did it faster than anyone else yeah so we first have to slam into a wall yeah and then it will change I, something will happen because I think one of the biggest problems is that I, especially in the Western world we become so privileged with all of the things we have around us we have decent uh, security we have decent healthcare all these things but the really bad thing in society that happens when you start feeling safe and privileged and you don't care a lot about other things. Mm -hmm. So uh, slowly, 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 we're getting it worse and worse and worse. And I think that the only way to really wake up is and to fix all of the issues, because there's a lot of issues that need to fix them, is when you totally, totally collapse. Um, and the sooner the better, because then I can experience it in my lifetime. That's what I want to do. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you look at, for instance, uh, the the financial crisis, the banks uh, that, that that did something wrong, you can say, uh, well, it collapsed. It, yeah. it, it But it wait, no, it didn't. No, because no, no. no it, it didn't that, change that, anything. No, that's just the marketing of it. Like, um, it's also the whatever you, if you're a capitalist, if you're a communist, whatever you are, you have to agree with certain like facts of life. Like, uh, capitalism 
failed in the banking industry and they got saved by the state mm -hmm. uh, and they were upset that the state didn't want to save them which is like that goes against ideals of capitalism so it was kind of a broken system but communism is also a broken system so you don't have a working system something in between um, but capitalism was really good at PR spinning things communism was not good at PR capitalism makes people dream about the like said, American dream stuff like that they yeah. think that uh, the banking system yeah. is not you know it, it's a uh, it's an open market that uh, you have some sort of freedom and, uh, and liberty with capitalism. You just like you're self-controlled. That's the thing. It is. It's it's a way to self-manage people, so you don't have to put effort in that. Communism was more honest. Like, yeah, I'm going to control you. You're going to be the bitch of the state. But it's more honest than saying like you have to choose to be the bitch of the state, which mm -hmm. is the case of capitalism. And I think the banking system is exactly the same. We have we have less banks and they're bigger. That's what happened. We collapsed into one it's like being swollen by like a, a, a one of these black holes the black hole doesn't go away no. it just becomes bigger so there, there will be another collapse uh, after this one no but now we're so vested you know <laughs> we're so vested in this collapse yeah. that we can't have another one so now we're protecting the big kind of black hole yeah. even more because it was painful last time but I think if we actually end up allowing the black hole to swallow us it's going to be nicer on the other side yeah and and in your ideal world what what does the other side look like well we're gonna have robots that does all of the shitty work and uh -huh. then we can like be poets and we can do whatever we want that is nice for mankind and start focusing on things that are more important than money and work and all of these things like we can maybe go out in the woods and run and we can have discussions about philosophy and we can you know, not uh, abuse children in, in, in Asia to make sneakers for us cheaply. We could take care of all of these issues. Um, and it wouldn't be that hard. It would be cheaper for most uh, countries. It would be less pain for most people. I think it's, there's a lot of things that could happen, but it's not gonna happen as long as it's protecting the broken system. So I think it would be awesome in the future. It could be awesome right now, but it's just a matter of fucking up enough to get there. <laughs> But, but the fucking up sounds painful and, 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 and awful. It, it is not. I think it's, no, it's a creative destruction. I, I like creative destruction. I, I think it's an underestimated tool of achieving things. Because honestly, do you think that you can change anything? No one believes they can change anything big in society. We just kind of like, yeah, I, I will press the like button on Facebook. That's where we are at, at the moment. Like previously, if you go back just 10 years, Lots of demonstrations. You had the Occupy movement a few years ago. Nothing like that happens. Greece is fucking up. You don't talk about Greece anymore. It's just, it's, it's gone. Like, the, the rate of how interesting things are just like minimizes. So like a crash and a collapse in one country is like, it's newsworthy for a week. And then we talk about like, you know, taxes again, whatever. It goes back to the same thing. We're just more and more numb to all, everything that's an issue in the world. I would rather have a big fuck up. At least there is some creativity and some fun that comes out of that. Hmm. Even if it's if it's painful, it is painful now as well. So, would you rather suffer for a long time or suffer short? <laughs> that's that's the. But is that a promise you can make that, it, that the suffering will be shorter? <laughs> yeah, I, I think it would. And like the alternative is, it's endless suffering. Just like <laughs> maybe but most less. Most people don't 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 think that way. No. Uh, if you ask everyone here, I think hardly you, anyone... You mean all of the white men that are around here? Yeah, The, the people, 30 to 50 something white men that are at this festival? Yeah. Yeah, they will be very privileged, yeah. Uh -huh. Like me, I'm very privileged in that way, yeah. 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 But you have to agree that there are privileges and you don't want to give them up. But most people are not privileged, so 80% yeah. of the world is not privileged, but the 20% talk for them, so... Mm. That's the truth. Yeah. And it's like, we all know it, but we don't want to do anything. It's like... I always compare this to the Matrix, like Neo had this choice of taking a pill where you could go outside of the Matrix and see what the real world looks like, or you could take the pill and forget and stay within. We chose something in between, so we chose like, we want to know what the world looks like and then we don't want to care. And that's even worse than the choice that Neo had in Matrix. Yeah. And, and when you say we, we uh, have to have this collapse before it gets better, is, is that something you, you um, actively you help? Uh, do you do you, uh, well do what well, you can to, to to get there? Of course, but then again, people help me do that. Like uh, I apparently owe like uh, 10, 12, 12, 15 million euros in Sweden, which is uh, yeah, I, they're not gonna get a single cent of me. And if they actually need that money, they're gonna be in a problem. Like if someone owes me, 
you know, 100 euros, that's not an issue. But if someone owes me every money I ever got, that's going to be an issue. I apparently owe a lot of money and I'm not going to help them with that. So apparently they're going to have an issue. So those are good things to do. So I think like if people just stop paying back loans to banks and stuff, which essentially is tax money, so it's your money anyhow, just stop doing that. And it's, it's very simple to help in like fucking things up by not doing anything. And I'm hoping that's going to happen maybe. Um, but I'm, I'm doing my part by just having fun. And I think that's fucking up enough. <laughs> so no technical solutions or uh, well, pirate schemes bay. or yeah, well, pirate bay. Pirate bay was technical <laughs> yeah. solution. Yeah, but, the, but, but it was creative but destruction it, as well. Like yeah. it's been really creative and it's been really helpful and it just it was destruction for a lot of uh, bad people that I don't like. Yeah, it's a perfect mixture of everything. <laughs> okay, well, thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, you're welcome. And, and good you. luck. Thanks. You too. <laughs> Goed. Tot zover. Um, Blijf kijken, de volgende gast staat alweer bijna klaar.